In IR analysis, it's important to know the ranges for where the peaks show up for the corresponding structural units. For example, in an alcohol, the range is between 32 and 3600 inverse centimeters. In a carboxylic acid, the bond between the O and the H shows up in the range between 2200 and 3600 inverse centimeters and looks something like this. Notice that it is a broad peak. For a secondary amide, the range at where the peaks show up is between 3350 and 3500, as seen here. The CH bond in a primary alkyne, for an SB hybridized carbon in a primary alkyne bonded to a hydrogen, the range is approximately 3300. For a sp2 hybridized carbon bonded to a hydrogen, the range is between 3000 and 3100. For an sp3 hybridized carbon bonded to a hydrogen, the range is between 2850 and 3000. The bond between a carbon and a hydrogen in an aldehyde is between 2750 and 2850. The bond between carbon and oxygen, which is a double bond in a ketone, the range for the peak is between 1680 and 1750, as seen here. For the bond between carbon and oxygen, another double bond in an amide, the range for the peak is between 1650 and 1700. For a carbon double bonded to another carbon in an alkene, the range of the peak is between 1600 and 1700. For a carbon double bonded to an oxygen that's also bonded to a chlorine, the peak shows up between 1750 and 1850. For a carbon double bonded to an oxygen in an ester, as seen here, the peak shows up in the range of 1700 to 1750. For a carbon double bonded to an oxygen in a carboxylic acid, the peak shows up between 1700 and 1750, as seen here. For a carbon triple bonded to another carbon in an alkyne, the peak shows up between 2100 and 2200 as seen here. For a carbon triple bonded to a nitrogen, the peak shows up between 2200 and 2300 as seen here. For a benzene aromatic ring, the peaks show up between 1450 and 1600 